Reports that individuals that support the platform assert that the Russian T-14 Armada tank is very likely the best tank that can be found anywhere around the globe. This tank attracts a significant amount of attention from people all over the world. Is that what you mean to say? The significance of armor and weapons has significantly expanded as a result of the chaos caused by wars and fights. If a country introduces one type of armor, another country will eventually come out with a more advanced type of armor after some time has passed. It is getting to the point where it is almost like a competition. Friends, it's great to have you back here at your only reliable Alpha Tanks, which brings you every piece of information you could possibly need, whether it's updates linked to world affairs or any policies or anything else. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the two major armors of the world. The first one is Russian Armata and the second one is American Abrams. We will compare the specifications and features of both. Main combat tanks such as the Russian Armada and the American Abrams are among the most cutting-edge and lethal on the market today. What's the difference between these two? While some details about these tanks, including their armor composition, are kept under wraps, we still know a great deal about them. We are going to talk about all these in the video. So before going ahead, friends, just check that you have subscribed to the channel and also comment on your views like who according to you is more effective in the military field to fight. Okay, without wasting time, let's get into the video. So when it comes to lightweight composites, there is currently nothing that can properly replace or match the protective functions provided by heavy armor, and the Armada's materials may not even be fully known. There have been numerous rumors that claim the tank is both lighter and faster than the Abrams main battle tank, with a top speed of about 55 miles per hour as opposed to about 45 miles per hour for the Abrams main battle tank. A 125mm smoothbore gun, an unmanned turret and a three-man crew are also cited as features of the T-14 Armada tank. The platform is also reported to function without a fume extractor and protect the three-man crew from an armored capsule, according to a report. A lot of attention has been paid to T-14 Armada's numerous qualities in the past few years, although it is not known how many of these technologies have been tested or put to use in actual conflict settings. Tank maker Ural Vagenzavod has developed a remotely detonated 125mm shell for the T-14 Armada according to a Sputnik story from several years ago. According to a source from Popular Mechanics from a few years back, the now-in-development 3UBK-21 Sprinter missile for the T-14 Armada can hit ranges of over 7 miles. Popular Mechanics reports that the 9M119 Reflex, the latest Armada round, has a range of 3.1 miles, about equivalent to the modern Abrams tanks, and can penetrate armor up to 900 millimeters. T-14 Armada's performance in war games and live fire events has not been documented, so it's unclear how much verification there may or may not be for its weapons. Okay, let's see the features of both armies in more detail, which will help us find out the best among both. We are going to talk about one feature in detail followed by another. Before that one request, folks, shower your love for the video or our channel by subscribing to it and commenting on your views like how the video is. Security Abrams is a well-protected tank. Composite armor strengthened with depleted uranium mesh. Explosive reactive armor can be added. The tank resists most anti-tank weapons. The U.S. Army wants to put an active protection system on Abrams tanks. It destroys anti-tank rockets and missiles. This improves tank survivability. Abrams tanks haven't been fielded with this protection yet. Abrams tanks include countermeasures that disrupt infrared and laser anti-tank missile guidance. The Russian Armada uses steel, ceramics, and composite base armor. The Armada has new Malakit explosive reactive armor. Armada's protection level is secret. It's one of the world's best protected tanks. The Russian Armada will reportedly be equipped with Afghanit active protection. In 2018, Afghanit development appeared to stall. This system's prototypes weren't ready for testing in 2018. This tank incorporates a novel countermeasure system to decrease anti-tank missile hits. Both tanks are equally protected. Crew Survivability Once the Abrams armor is breached, the crew has a chance of survival. Most ammunition is kept in a blowout turret bustle. The bustle and fighting compartments are separated. If hit, ammo detonates without killing the crew. Protective compartments hold some bullets inside the hull. Kevlar protects the Abrams interior from spalling. The Russian Armada tank was designed to protect its crew. Its crew is shielded in an armored cell. It's the first manufactured tank with an unmanned turret and crew arrangement. Crew and automatic loader are separated. Damage resistance has been enhanced. If the crew cell is intact, it can work with pierced armor. The Russian Armada shielded crew cell and segregated munitions may improve crew survivability. Gun 
Abrams Smoothbore Cannon is 120mm L44. Even though it's not the most advanced tank cannon, it's powerful. Its effective range is over 4 kilometers. Its range was proven in various global wars. The gunner loads the gun manually. The M1A2 Abrams has hunter-killer capabilities. The tank commander employs a panoramic sight. After selecting a target, the gun is automatically aimed and fired by the gunner. Commander looks for the next target. This strategy offers faster target acquisition and engagement. Most MBTs have target acquisition systems. A new 125mm smoothbore cannon equips the Russian Armada. It's more accurate and long-range than earlier Russian tank weapons. The new gun beats the T-90s. It's more powerful than the Abrams gun. At long range, Russian tank weapons were less accurate than Western tank guns. The Armada can launch long-range anti-tank guided missiles in the same way as regular rounds. This missile has a 5km range and can target helicopters. The gun auto-loads. This cut the staff to 3. Armada has a new fire system. It's uncertain how accurate the Russian Armada cannon is compared to the Abrams. Mobility The Abrams tanks are powered by a 1500 horsepower gas turbine. Basically, it's a modified helicopter engine for tanks compact for its power. Abrams is large and ungainly, but its strong engine makes it surprisingly maneuverable. It is faster than many other tanks and has superior cross-country capabilities. The gas turbine unit has greater advantages than diesel engines used on tanks. This multi-fuel engine may run on kerosene, diesel, gasoline, or aviation fuel. It can start very cold and the engine is quiet. The Abrams is dubbed the Whispering Death because of this. The gas turbine has longer service intervals than diesel engines. The gas turbine engine has flaws. It is hard to maintain and has high fuel consumption compared to diesel. The Russian Armada's turbocharged diesel engine produces 1200 horsepower. The new generation engine is more compact and powerful than earlier Russian tank engines. This unproven engine may have teething troubles. However, Russian diesel is more fuel efficient and easier to maintain than American gas turbines. The Abrams accelerates faster and is better cross-country. Engine power and mobility are strengths and disadvantages for both tanks. In general, the new Russian tank is on par with the Abrams tank that the US uses. Although it does have some minor advantages over the Abrams in certain respects, it does not possess any cutting-edge advantages. The Abrams has a technical advantage over competing vehicles in terms of their mobility and performance across rough terrain. The design of this tank has been tried and tested, and it has performed admirably in a variety of military engagements. The Armada has a distinct advantage when it comes to survivability as well as crew protection. Even though this tank's design is still in its early stages, there is a good chance that it will suffer a number of growing pains. Yes, these were the major points to feature both armors, but that's not enough. There are still many points we should look at. So before telling you this, we just hope that you have subscribed to the channel and are sharing your views in the comment section, right? Other features. Also, T-14 claims to be able to function at 310 miles, compared to Abrams' 265-mile range. A range disparity of this kind, albeit correct, may not have a significant tactical influence given the development of unmanned systems capable of long-duration advanced armored reconnaissance missions. The new 2A82-1M-125mm smoothbore cannon of the T-14 replaces the older 2A46-125mm gun of prior Russian and Soviet tanks, according to the study. Compared to its Western contemporaries, such as the German Leopard 2's Rhine Metal 120mm gun, this cannon is more powerful. It is possible that this claim does not take into account several key Abrams lethality enhancements, such as the programmable fuse, ammunition data link, and new multi-purpose ammunition round, which combine several different rounds into one such as high explosive anti-tank rounds and anti-personnel canister rounds into the equation. Because the Armada is a brand new design, there is a possibility that it will encounter certain difficulties as it moves forward. Second, because of the instability of the Russian economy, it is not clear whether or not the T-14 can be mass-produced for both domestic uses and for exports. This is a concern because the T-14 is an important weapon. Okay. Friends debated the merits of Abrams and Armada in this video. You'll know which one is superior after viewing the entire video. Then, by all means, speak your mind about it. Your cooperation is extremely valuable to our team. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. 
Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next one.